Hi, good morning. Okay, so it's Monday morning and you know, I have been pregnant. I just delivered my baby like uh, five months ago. So I haven't really got to walk outside my garden. And I used to have a lot of plants, uh, you know, a few herbal plants and some flowers. So this is my garden like eight months back. Look at that, they're all so green and so healthy. My moringa, my sweet basil, my wigs. I even had a, an eggplant. Look at my eggplant leaf, it's as big as my palm. And my beautiful Japanese rose. Yes, I know, but then I was unable to look at them and I was unable to take care of them. And you know what? My kids didn't water the plants too. Obviously, lah, kids can. You must tell them to water it. Then only they'll water. So no baja, no water. My poor plants. Some of them have actually died. And I'll show you my plants that have, you know, so sadly died. And today, I'll be replanting some of them. I went to my mom's house yesterday to collect some plants. <laughs> so you know, to have an instant garden. Let me just show you. Yep, so this is my curry leaf plant. Look at that. It's also layu ready. My basil all dried. Oh my god. So these are the plants I brought from my mom's place. You see, I have uh, rue. You know, it's a rue plant. And then I have that blue pea. That's blue pea. Blue pea is quite easy to grow. And then I have some... Not sure what's this. Oh, that's a lavender there. Um... This is the fat, um, I don't know what you call it. In Tamil, it's called Gundumali. You know, it's a like a rose-like kind of jasmine flower. Uh, these are a few colours of uh, hibiscus. My sweet basil. Mm, this is uh, bitter leaf. Uh, coriander, this is a type of coriander. It's a Thai coriander if I'm not mistaken. Yep, down pegaga. This is very good for kids. And even us, adults, uh, this is, in Tamil, it's called perande. This is perande. Okay, it's a type of vegetable, uh, traditional vegetable also. Very nutritious, I know, but I haven't tried it myself. My mother's <laughs> cooked it for us before. I'm going to try to plant it. And uh, this is my holy basil. Okay, my holy basil, I've only left with one plant here. And it's drying also, you see. So today, I'm just going to take this all out and replant it. You know, put some fertilizer. Ah, this is oregano. My mother gave me. So these are the plants I'll be replanting. My existing plants. You can see. Uh, my jasmine flower. It's really, really teruk. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Poor plant, you see. All this, so... I've got a lot of work. Yep, this is my Japanese rose. It used to look very nice. Now it's all dead, no flowers. This plant is a hardy plant, like it just grow anywhere. This is called the Vix plant. That's a scientific name. I can't really remember what's that. Okay. Look at my garden. It's like you know, full of rubbish, full of dried leaves. Have to be vacuuming all this soon. Yeah, yesterday I did some pulling out. Look. It's even grown ferns, you know. That's how much it was taken care of. There's ferns everywhere. Oh my god, that's a lot of work. Uh, this is another jasmine plant which slowly died off. My favourite uh, Indian borage. It's very good for phlegm and cold. My Japanese rose. So, I'll be replanting all of this today.
Your silhouette in the moonlight shine Will my love you won't ever be alone My summer love Been waiting for you my love Completely a fool Been waiting for you my love Hi, so you know what happened yesterday? It started raining halfway and we had to stop. So uh, we are continuing today. I had to go and get myself uh, some soil and uh, the pruners. My pruners spoiled. It rusted outside and I had to throw it away. So now I just went to DIY to get a simple pruner and also some soil. Uh, I'm going to start uh, gardening today. The weather looks better. So hopefully it doesn't rain. So here, here we actually have some pots already uh, done but then there's not enough soil you see like this pot is empty some of it only have half soil inside so we actually went to get some soil yesterday let's dig back here here it says it has uh, cocoa peat burnt soil river sand burnt husk uh, rich hummus and chocolate powder so you know it's good for growing vegetables and Flowers. So let me just do it and then I'll update you. I'll show you the end results, yeah? So look who's here with us. My third little cub. And the eldest cub. Can you see him? Yeah, he's picking up rubbish. Whatever that's on the turf. Okay, we have like an artificial grass in the indoor garden, the inside garden. The outside one is uh, real grass. Okay, past that gate there we have real grass, carpet grass. So, uh, usually the artificial grass, we will vacuum it or, you know, pick out the bigger uh, rubbish. So, yep, let's start. It's really hot today. Good weather. So, yep, we are done. Uh, let me show you the outcome. Okay, I'll take you from the front, yeah? Let me turn the video. Okay, so uh, this one I just had to clean up a bit, prune a bit. And it's good to go. Did some weeding. My Japanese rose since yesterday. I think it's looking a bit better. I just trim everything off. Uh, trim off the dry twigs and all. Clean it up a bit. Uh, loosen the soil and actually put in some fertilizer. And this is the... <laughs> Yesterday it was all dried, right? Today I've replaced it with the coriander, Thai coriander, the holy basil. This is the black stem one. So they call it Karun Tulasi. Okay, in Tamil, uh, holy basil is actually Tulasi. Mm, this is my lavender. So cute, right? Hopefully to grow up. Very big, big. Okay, my curry leaf is in a proper pot now. Curry leaf, please go be a good tall tree then we can transfer it to the ground and this one I've pruned my uh, holy basil this is the green version trim it and then I just put in some soil loosen the soil a bit oops I forgot about this little one here I put in some oregano here my mother gave me uh, a little bit of oregano so I put it in this small pot hopefully oregano and my wigs plant actually looks similar if you see <laughs> the leaves look similar but they're very different eh? and smell and all Yep, so here and yeah, look how much I've trimmed my jasmine. This is the normal jasmine. It's really, uh, it's a good breed. It's from my mom's place. She gave me the big pot. Um, it has a very strong smell at night when you walk past. When it starts flowering, you can smell it. So it's a really good breed, but uh, it's infected with a lot of, uh, you see, insects. So I've actually sprayed some pesticides, uh, my essential oil pesticide, and let's see how it goes. Okay. This pot is empty, I haven't done anything in that yet, I don't have seeds now. Uh, this is my blue pea plant, let's see, yep, there's a few zinnia there. Okay, we managed to just clean the pickup yet, we haven't really vacuumed the turf, so we'll do it later in the evening. Hi baby, hi baby. Oh, you need fan, huh? Putri Lilin lah you. <laughs> Surely entertained by the brother. This is the perendai. Peren okay, I've planted it there. Hopefully once it's bigger, I'll transfer it to a bigger pot. This is the rue. Okay, I found some zinnia uh, seed. I mean, it was like, you know, like a seedling growing out. So I thought just leave it there. And then just add the rue in. 
if it grows bigger, the zinnia will actually transfer it to a pot because zinnias catch um, insects eat it up very fast. I don't know why, it's like an insect's favourite. So the leaves start getting holes, the flower also starts, um, you know, not coming out nicely. So I don't know, let it, let's see if it grows well. Okay, this is the zinnia plant spectre. Okay, this is another herb. Uh, usually, when you have like phlegm or cold cough, it's good to you know just blend it, take the juice and drink. Uh, my hibiscus, three types of hibiscus. I know it's a bit messy, right? But the soil will slowly go down as you water, water, and it's out in the sunlight. So when it rains, it's so direct rainfall. So I don't want to really press the soil down. My bitter leaf. I got these uh, sticks. These two green sticks, you know. Uh, from DIY, it's about one something, one ringgit, 70 cents if I'm not mistaken. And um, I actually had this kind of dawa, you know, where it's green color just for gardening. Uh, you know, la, after, you know, confinement, my whole garden, I can't even find my watering can, it's that bad. Okay, this is the vegetable, which I don't know the name yet. My mom says it's good uh, for digestive problems and all. So I thought, I'll, it looks like it's like a creeper, so I just put a stick there and, you know, use the thread for now. <laughs> And yeah, my Valare, it's called Pagaga in Malay, in English. Um, I knew its name and I forgot now. One of my friend mentioned it to me, but I heard it's good for skin too. And um, yeah, it's really green and healthy. It's my mom's one. I had good ones, all died. Mm -hmm. And this is my Indian borage. This pot is empty. My Indian borage now, I've trimmed it nicely plucked out whatever I could uh, you know I was worried of the insect one and also I've plucked everything out this one grows very easily and very fast so no need to worry whenever I just pluck and throw it away you can just to choke to choke you can this are uh, this grows from the stem itself so you can just have cuttings and just poke it into any pots and it'll just grow like wild yep this was the dying another version of my dying jasmine I cut everything off I just only kept the stem <laughs> And looks like, yeah, there's little, little shoots coming out. Hopefully, it'll be a healthier, healthier version of my jasmine plant. So, that's it for my garden. And, yep, I'm happy now that it's clean, it's neat. And, you know, we've removed all the ferns. Looks good. And, hopefully, we'll come back to a happy, happy plant. I'll update you guys in a month's time. Okay, you know, these plants are just like other living beings. When you give them a lot of love, they actually tend to grow uh, very happily, very healthily. And, you know, so nice to see when they're green. It's like a therapy. Therapy for me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so we are done today. Uh, we have cleaned up the garden. We have we done some weeding, uh, loosened up the soil, put in some fertilizers, and then uh, also some extra soil when just like us humans uh, plants are also a living being and when you give them a lots of love and their essential needs like water fertilizer and the pesticides needed they'll actually grow up to be really healthy and uh, happy plants <laughs> so yep that's all from me today uh, do like the video if you liked what I shared today and subscribe to our channel. Also don't forget to hit the bell button so whenever we come up with a new video, you are updated or notified. Yeah, so thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe everyone.